Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Bhagwan Chugrapati Nara. I'm a consultant breast specialist and an oncologist and oncoplastic surgeon, currently working in Hyderabad. Today's video on breast intentions, our web series, is fibroadenoma, which is one of the most common benign breast lumps that occur in younger women. Fibroadenomas are generally non-cancerous lumps, which are seen between the age groups of 15 to 25 but they can occur at any other age group. They're generally painless, freely mobile lumps. And for any medical student who's interested, it's also called a breast mouse. It's not unusual to develop more than fi one fibroadenoma in the breast. Remember that men also develop fibroadenomas, although it is rare. So how do you diagnose this condition? Triple assessment. A clinical examination by the doctor, an imaging either by a mammogram or an ultrasound, and a pathological evaluation by a fine needle aspiration cytology or a core biopsy. The size of the fibroadenoma might vary from something as small as one centimeter or something that's seen on imaging to something called a giant fibroadenoma, which is generally more than 10 centimeters. The reason why fibroadenomas occur is because of the increased sensitivity to the hormone called estrogen in your system. Occasionally, in teenage girls, pregnant or breastfeeding women with pre-existing fibroadenomas, the size of these lumps might increase, but these also do resolve naturally over the course of time. So how do you treat fibroadenomas? If you have been diagnosed with such a lump, your doctor might advise something as simple as observation to a surgical excision depending on the size of the tumor. Also, if it is causing any cosmetic disfigurement to the breast, you might be advised surgical excision. If you have been advised to observe, make sure that you examine your breast every month and note the size of the lump. And if there is any change in the size of the lump that can be gradual or a sudden change, make sure that you mention this to your doctor. You might require a surgical intervention at that point in time. Alternatively, fibroadenomas might just resolve over a period of time. Remember that if you have been advised surgical excision, such tumors can be excised using a cosmetic incision without much alteration to the shape or size of the breast. If you have any questions regarding fibroadenomas, please feel free to reach out to me on the numbers given below. Thank you.